Good morning, morning everyone. <laughs> Hello or good noon or afternoon or evening or whatever time you're listening to this. And thank you for joining us for today. My name is uh, John and this is my wife. Hi. Carol Sarah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for today, in a few moments, we're going to be reading the word. But before we begin, let me start off by uh, saying this. We're about to read some passages of the Bible together. And from the very, very, very beginning of the Discovery series, we have established that the Bible, which is our manual in life, yes, the, the, the manual uh, as the source for ultimate truth that is just, you know, beyond stories. And you know what? I love that about the bible because as i uh as we are going to to share you know the things that we are going to learn personally based on the reading the revelation is meant to be shared with everyone right do you agree with that love <laughs> so that means to those who are listening at the sound of our voices uh we would like to invite you all to share yours too in the comments let us know uh what are your learnings uh, later so you don't have to be shy about it because we're in this together you know we're basically discovering something together and it's even more exciting that we are discovering the character of our lord and savior jesus christ so we would also like to know what are your thoughts and don't just keep it to yourself mm -hmm. with others yeah, share it. who are also streaming right now to this episode and to the people around you even. Yes. Now, with that being said, if you're if your Bibles are ready yeah. and your hearts are ready, yes. let's dive right in. Yes. So the verses that we're going to, to be reading are found in the following. That is uh the first is the, the first passage is Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 to 15. And then the second passage is John chapter 5, verses 24 to 29. And the last one is Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 13. So uh, don't worry because all of those are in the show notes below. You can even click them because there are links that will take you to the Bible app itself if you don't have a physical Bible with you. Uh, so you can know that we're not making this up and it's really written in the scripture Amen. So, yeah, amen. So, let's read. All right, I'll go first. For Matthew chapter 28, verse 1 to 15. Mm -hmm. All right. After the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like a lightning and his clothes were white as snow. Mm. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. Mm. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. Wow. There you, you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to, to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them. <laughs> Greetings, he said. They came to him clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priests everything that had happened. When the chief priests had met with the elders and devised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum of money, telling them, you are to say his disciples came during the night and stole him away while he while we were asleep. If this report gets to the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. Mm. So the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has been widely circulated among the Jews 
to this very day. All right, and the next one is John five twenty four to twenty nine. So very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death to life. So very truly I tell you, a time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in him, in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this. For a time is coming where all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. All right. And finally, for the, our last set of verses, which is found in Romans 10, verses 9 to 13. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame, for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. Wow. And those are all of the of verses. Yes. So have you learned something as we were reading? Well, we could, we hope and pray that yeah. you did, uh, but you are free to read it again and again using your own preferred translation or version mm -hmm. because in a few moments and, you know, as always, we are going to discuss what does the passage teach us about. Uh, I do want to point out though that uh, all of the verses we've just read point to a certain theme. And what do you think that is? I think it's all about the resurrection of Christ. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so without further ado, let's, uh, let's discuss that's what right. we've learned. So um, the women, you know, the women, uh, Mary, both the two Marys, they, yeah. they were looking for God in the tomb. Uh, you know, when G where Jesus was supposedly buried, but they were looking for him in the in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah it it, 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 it makes sense. Yeah, unknowingly to yeah. them, it's just interesting to me that Mary Magdalene and Mary not Magdalene mm -hmm. were <laughs> looking for someone who is alive among the dead. And I'm, you know, I'm actually glad that Jesus wasn't there at the grave anymore. Oh. I personally believe that. Uh, that already speaks a lot about you know how true Jesus claims where that he is God <laughs> yeah and for me also yeah. I think I find it interesting that some men um, were trying to suppress the truth from coming out oh. but as we have read they <laughs> failed oh yes. right yeah so I think these are the very same people that resisted Jesus, but these yeah. are also the, the people that did not know and receive him. So remember in John 1? Yeah, the, the, some, some did not know him and receive him. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. <laughs> so they had a pl plan to cover up what really happened. And it's mm. sad that it worked because to this very day, some Jews still don't believe that a human being yeah. who claimed to be God has resurrected. Yeah. But the good news is that you who are listening to this episode, you are now made aware of what actually happened. Oh, that's Jesus right. Jesus <laughs> didn't stay dead like how the soldiers and the chief priests and the other elders were expecting and maybe wanting to happen. I think that, and I think that this speaks about our God being unshakable and yes. unstoppable. Amen. And not even the most evil device against him can stop him. Yes, that's right. Not even the heavy stone that oh. covered the tomb. Well, yes. Not even death itself <laughs> applies to Jesus. And Amen. that's who he is and what he offers, guys, which is eternal life. 
Yes, so, so that's that's right. I I I fully agree to what you just said. Yeah. No plan can stop God. That's right. <laughs> and you know Jesus, he claimed to be God, and he I think he just proved that he is God because mm. you know not even death can stop him. So uh, I do I do want to address though the 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 Jew and Gentile that were was men yeah yeah that yeah. was mentioned. Mm. Uh, it speaks about salvation. Yes. And it's uh, salvation being not exclusive to one particular group. That's right. Romans, that's Romans ten twelve, mm-hmm. uh, where it we can all learn from it that no matter what a person's uh, background is, or no matter where they came from, no matter what nationality, yeah. that person, that means you and I can receive the salvation that is found in Jesus. Christ so he didn't just uh, die for just one particular group of people or and it is made available for every human being because of what he did for us that's all right. of us human that's beings very good news. <laughs> but um, I do believe aside from that we we need to address that uh, we need to discuss how how can we be saved how can we obtain this salvation and um, do you know what's the answer? <laughs> I think we've already read about it, <laughs> but we're going to read it uh, right now uh, in Roman. We've read it in Romans ten nine and uh, John five twenty four. We need to say and wholeheartedly believe that Jesus is Lord and that He was uh, raised from the dead by God, and then only then we can be saved. So it's very clear. The Bible is very clear about That's where. Uh, where it stands on how can we uh, how we can obtain salvation and mm. you know one thing is for sure that it is not found in another person it's not True. it's not just in an an, an exclusive uh, particular community and it's definitely not church membership the bible is very clear that it does not promote yeah. any of this at all except that salvation it is only found in Jesus who died on the cross with the sins of the world and resurrected from the dead three days later so if you put your faith in Jesus the good news is that in Romans 10 11 what does it say it will not put you to shame yes you will not be put to shame that's right so uh, you know even there even though there was a you know a propaganda just like you said uh, some people were trying yeah. to bury the truth but even though there was this thing that you know portrayed Christ as a counterfeit, we all know that this isn't true at all. You know why? Because the good news is that uh, the suppression it didn't actually fully stop the truth from coming out because you and I are now reading about it and we are all now learning the facts. All right, and since we are in the subject of Christ. Maybe we can enumerate the attributes Uh that we can all notice from Jesus on the passage by starting with the phrase, Jesus is, Uh and then adding something to it that's relevant to the verses we've read a while ago. Yes. And here are some of that we can share with you. So let's uh, let's start. So You can start there, Joan. (laughs) Okay. Um, Based on the verses that we've read, uh, Jesus is. It, it tells that Jesus is not among the dead. True. <laughs> Check. So in fact, um, he is the opposite. Jesus is very much alive. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to, uh, Jesus is. Yeah. Uh, How about you? What's, uh, right. what's another Jesus is? For me, uh, Jesus is embracing. Oh. So embracing in a way that um, his love for people is so huge yeah so much that he made salvation available for everyone so it's wow. non-exclusive it's inclusive, inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> that's all that's very His good. love is inclusive yeah and i agree um jesus is all powerful not you know it, that i believe that be, him being alive again is Mm-mm. what uh, it, it says a lot <laughs> i mean come on it's it's defying it's defying nature itself yeah so no one can <laughs> no one else can do that uh, like yeah. raise himself from the 
it's yeah it's very yeah. unexplainable mm-hmm. with our human limitations of how we know things so True. he is powerful right and also i have um a jesus is a uh, addition as well it's jesus is not selfish so maybe mm. not i mean <laughs> it's an is not uh-huh. okay and uh, i said that because he proved that by giving his own life uh-huh. for mankind's sake um by that action it uh, can yeah. really be you know portray that he is selfless yeah selfless that's the uh you know <laughs> that's the, the, the word. right word <laughs> <laughs> that's the right word instead of not selfish <laughs> yeah but he is not selfish though yeah <laughs> um what else jesus is risen i think that's the <laughs> that's the theme that we we're yeah. trying to uh point out here jesus mm, is true. risen after all he didn't stay dead he is risen from the dead and maybe it maybe it's very synonymous to <laughs> the other stuff that we've mentioned before but basically that's the that's kind of like the point here mm. we we have to establish that jesus is really alive yes our god is alive our god is alive so now with the facts that we've learned for today here's the next question yes our usual question is if god is speaking to you today through his word how would you apply it so um application time <laughs> my application is regarding to the it's actually regarding to the women who witnessed uh, the angel outside the tomb that is in mm. matthew uh, 28 yeah. uh, verse 8 where it said that uh, after they were told by the angel that uh, about that uh, all of those things that the angel said they had great joy you know mm-hmm. sometimes sometimes to the people who are already aware of this story mm-hmm. may, myself included yeah uh, we, we tend to forget or maybe miss the big picture or maybe take it for granted sometimes uh, un- unknowingly that jesus resurrection defied science itself and the natural laws of the world we live in but uh more than that it's actually sin eliminating and it's knowing the fact that it's uh by knowing that it should give me joy i mean it's very it's kind of like a huge deal it should you know it should motivate me to be very you know uh, i mean i believe jesus is worthy uh worthy of uh joy <laughs> because he is where the joy is <laughs> so that's that's a, that's a familiar line <laughs> <laughs> so that's my i will i will choose to live in joy because i know that in jesus uh, i mean i because i know that jesus didn't stay dead but he rose again proving after all that he is god and through that salvation uh, and through that salvation is made available for you and me that's right and you too you're included in the true, true, true. You, you too can avail of god's love and, we, and i should i should be i should feel joyful about that and i'm truly, I hope truly, you, truly very <laughs> grateful for that i hope you you guys are too true now i think um it's also nice for us to ask you the same question what about you friends Mm-hmm. I believe this is a topic we can learn something from no matter yes. how many times <laughs> you may have already heard about it to some of you but I also do believe by reading about it again today we can appreciate it even more yes so if you have something to share about what you learned today and how you can apply it in your life let ever, everyone know in the comments or type it on the prompt below yes. if you're listening on Spotify. Yes, that would be awesome. We would that love would to hear re- from yes. you and maybe the other people who are joining us for today. Uh, they will be blessed also when they True. read your comments. So don't be shy. and Don't keep it to yourself. <laughs> don't gatekeep. <laughs> yeah, because we're in this together. We're discovering Christ together. Amen. Amen. And that's our topic for today, which is called Jesus, Jesus rose from the dead. Yes, that's the very title of this episode. We are grateful that you Thank have you joined so us for this episode. But let's not forget that we ought to 
uh, not only share to others mm -hmm. what you have learned for today, even though you are free to do that right now. Click the share button right now. But that whatever we have discovered and learned and discussed, we hope and pray that you will get to know more and discover Christ even more in a personal way today.